Remember all those times that I said I wasn't going to buy any more books? Past me is a liar. Hi guys, it's Lizzie, and today I'm going to be doing a book outlet unboxing. I ordered, I think, 10 books in here, and it only cost me, like, $35 and change. Oops. Now, I brought scissors. There we are. So that I could open this. Um, so let's do this. Oh, I really hope I didn't just cut my book. I cut the paper, not the book. Very proud. So let's jump right in. So let's see how much I actually spent. $35.42. And all of these were bargain books. So um, I'll keep this so I can tell you how much I actually spent on each of these. Paper. More paper. And more paper. So um, I don't think any of these are going to work for the readathon I'm doing this week because I don't think I got any mythological or retellings. I mean, this one might be a retelling. We'll go with this one first. Um, the first book that I have is Undercover Princess by Connie Gillian. Gillian? Which sounds actually like it may be... Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was a little bit like The Princess and the Pauper, but it sounds like it's about these two girls who are both no, it is Princess and the Pauper. Ha! This is a retelling. I can read this this week. Um, one is about an ordinary girl who longs to be a princess. The other is a princess who longs to be ordinary. And they end up in the same dorm at this boarding school and decide to swap identities. So I might pick this one up this week. Um, I got this for $4.89. I think this is the most expensive book. But it's really, really pretty. I might pick this up this week. Then I picked up Breaking Bailey by Anonymous. This is part of, and I think they're over there, um, all of those Anonymous books. So there's Lucy in the Sky, Letting Anna Go, Calling Maggie May, something about Jay, and then this one, Breaking Bailey, which is about a girl who's lost her mother and then gets into the murky waters of a scheme. So I don't actually know too, too much about this one. I just got it because it's the same edition as all the other ones that I have. And it was $3.89, um, but it retails at $10.18. Then I picked up What I Lost by Alexandra Baylord. I got this for $3.29. And this is a girl who has lost 40 pounds, four jean sizes, a boyfriend, and her peace of mind. Um, she's also the newest resident at Wallingfield, a treatment center for girls like her, girls with eating disorders. I'm interested to read this because I've battled with eating disorders in the past and I think this would be an interesting read. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to this, but hopefully soon. Then I picked up Local Girl Missing by Claire Douglas. This has to do with a girl who's gone missing and then her friend, I believe has come back because a body has been found and she wonders if it's her friend that went missing. And this I got for $3.29. Then I picked up The Safest Lies by Megan Miranda. This I don't know a ton about. Oh, this is about a girl whose mother was, she was kidnapped when she was younger and escaped pregnant with the main character and she hasn't stepped foot outside of the house since then because she's scared that her kidnappers will find her again um but the mom goes missing and her mom and her have kind of like planned for anything to happen except this so i'm interested to see what this is about and that one i got for 2.29 next i have zero day by jan gensai this is about the daughter of the president who was kidnapped and then his daughter resurfaces. She's not the same person. Oh, so I'll be interested to see how this is. Um, this one I got for $3.29. And we have The Girl Who Was Supposed to Die by April Henry. I honestly don't know a ton about this. But I think I've heard this author talk before because this sounds very familiar to something I've heard. I'll just read you the synopsis because it helps. She doesn't know who she is. She doesn't know where or why. All she knows is she comes to in a ransacked cabin. 
All she knows when she comes to in a ransacked cabin is that two men are arguing over whether or not to kill her and that she must run. So this sounds very up my alley. This I got for $3.29 as well. Then I picked up How to Hang a Witch by Adrienne Mathers. I've heard a couple of people on booktube talk about this, but it has to do with a girl who moves to Salem and then great, 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 so many more greats. Grandfather was the one putting the accused witches on trial, your family. But then she's targeted by a group of girls who their ancestors are the witches. That's about all I know, and that's mostly from reading the synopsis. I got this for $3.29 as well. We have a hardback, which is the Dead Girl Society um, by Michelle Kreis. I know that this has to do with a game and a girl that has cystic fibrosis, and that's about all I know about it. Um, and this one, up for $3.29, which for a hardback, that's a great price. Then I got Beheld by Alex Flynn, which is a retelling. And it sounds like it might have to do with the evil, I don't know actually what this is about. I just picked up because it was by Alex Flynn and I love Alex Flynn. Um, and this was $1.29. Then I picked up Penance by Kane Minato. Um, and this has to deal with a girl who gets kidnapped um, and her friends kind of get tricked into leaving her and then she's found dead. And then fast forward 15 years and the women, now grown, will all revisit that fateful day, tracing its effects on the rest of their lives. A great thriller, hopefully. That one was $2.79. And I picked up Fat Dad, Fat Kid, uh, One Father and Son's Journey to Take Power Away from the F Word by Shay and Gavin Butler. I followed the Shay Tards for a while. I don't follow them as much now. I actually recently, like after placing this order, saw a video that... Colette is no longer living with Shay, which makes me really sad because these, this family used to be like a huge part of my teenhood, childhood, whatever you want to call it. I started watching them when I was in high school. So um, it makes me really sad, but I am excited to read this because I've heard kind of mixed reviews about it. So I'll be interested to see what I think of it. And I may also pick up the audiobook for this because I like when audiobooks when I read audiobooks for books like this, and I believe it's read by Shay. But I got this for $2.39. And last but not least, I got The Detour by S.A. Bodine, author of The Compound, which I think I've read. Um, yeah, I've definitely read The Compound. Uh, but this is about a 17-year-old best-selling author who gets invited to an A-list writer's retreat, so she decides to go and work on her next book. But then she hits a detour before she knows that her car is wrecked, she's hurt, and she's trapped in a basement with no idea where she is. A woman and apparently her manic daughter have kidnapped her and they have no intentions of letting her go. So another thriller, which I will hopefully pick up soon. There's so many good thrillers in this and I'm so excited to pick them all up. Um, that one, since I didn't say, was $4.39 I think. $4.39. So those are all the books that I picked up in this haul. If you've read any of them and you want to let me know like which ones to get through first, which ones I can kind of hold off on, let me know down in the comments. If you like this book outlet haul, click that thumbs up button. And if you want to see future videos of either reviews of these books or just other videos that I put up, make sure you've clicked that subscribe button so that you get all my future videos in your notification box. And then I'll talk to you in my next video.